Animal Jam. We have a problem. Okay. We've got a problem. Alright, so A, apparently the deer likes to slide. But, okay, so here's my problem. Alright, you're probably like, hey, you gotta complete the outfit. You gotta put on the autumn horns, the autumn helmet, if you didn't know it's horns. I get that, and I've been trying to. But I can't. Like, why? Why can you not wear the horns? It doesn't make sense, Animal Jam. Why can't I wear the horns on the deer? Like, obviously, it makes sense. You didn't implement it. But why did you not implement it? Can you, like, do that at some point, please? Because I would really like to wear these nice autumn helmets. These nice autumn antlers, not horns, sorry. Because these are absolutely amazing gauntlets. These are a super cute tail. This, I could go without, and I will. I like this. It, I like how it's like a bundy cord. But I can't wear the antlers. So. No, it just doesn't look right. Now, I have to go to Epic Wonders. I don't think this is Epic Wonders. Yeah, it's not. It's not Epic Wonders. Now, I have to go to Epic Wonders, go buy some brown antlers. This looks like someone was trying to roleplay as a doll. I was going to say, where are the rest of my buddies? Now, I have to go buy some brown antlers that match. I like that. I might buy you. Let's see, what else do we have? We have these. These also kind of make sense. You know, because they're like trees. Actually, I really like the trees. Um, let's see. We'll get the trees. And these, because why not? Like, I just want to wear... The reason I'm kind of not going with the trees is because the leaves are green. There's literally, look at these. These are actually really cute, and I really like this. Or they're not, like, cute, but I like them. They're stylish. I have a lot of random things, don't I? I have a lot of diamond shot stuff. Diamond shot? Diamond shot stuff. That I've got, like, 6,000 colors of. Are you proud of me? I'm not using my spike in literally every single look because I'm not a basic jammer. Look, even this, it's blue. But I actually thought that this was really cute with the whole, like, uh, n like, no one uses those. I hardly ever see anyone using those. Especially not members. Especially not in flying animals. But I think it looks really good. But yeah. So, we have my flamingo, which I actually don't like the fact that it's a flying animal. I would much rather be it, have it be a land animal, because I don't know if flamingos can fly. Let's look this up. Can flamingos fly? Let's see. Can flamingos fly? Flamingos can fly, and they even migrate short distances in times of Food scarcity. Greater flamingos. The pink flamingo. Jeez. Greater flamingos. The pink. The familiar pink birds of Florida have a wingspan of almost five feet. Jeez. They are able to fly hundreds of miles and can both take off from land, on water, or dry land. Okay still don't think that they should be a flying animal because from what i know flamingos like to stay put um more than fly too often they don't like fly too often i don't see them fly at least which also makes me now want to make this like an actual like pink flamingo but also if you notice like the flamingo it stands with its leg up but it doesn't in the picture It also has a really big tail, apparently, whenever you have 
the leaves. Like, they're floating leaves. They're, they're floating. Floating leaves. And they need to fix this. I think Alan Jam should fix this. Like, with the things that have, like, small tails, the tails, like, the tail pieces will float out behind them. And it doesn't make sense. So, I think Animal Jam should get that too. Let's do. I like yellow better. And then we can do. <laughs> no pattern, please. And then we can just pink. Done. So beautiful. Done. Pink? Oh, I did not take off the tail apparently. Really? Okay, there we go. Tail is gone. I don't like this very much, but you know, whatever. Look, I have this whole line of hyenas stuffed animals because I think they're really pretty and I really like them. Well, they're not like pretty, but they're really cute. They're really cute. Super cute. I love them. But yeah, so then we go to the diamond shop and we say, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm Bird. See, I don't like this whole like being able to fly over stuff thing. I don't like it very much. But if you were wanting, wanted to know, I do very much like the autumn armor. See, and this is the horns. Look at the horns. They're pretty, but you can't wear them on deer. Like, why? Why? It, like, it seems like they completely just forgot about it. There's the oops. So, AJHQ, if you ever manage to see this, then please. Fix the autumn armor. Please. Fix it. You know one thing that I also wish? I wish you could, like, store items. Like, you could, like, store items. Like, you could only store them for so long. Like, you can only store an item for up to a year. And then you have to take it out of the storage thing. And then you can't put it back in the storage thing for, like, I don't know, six months or something. And then, you can put it back in there for another year, or whatever. But, like, I don't think you should be able to just, like... By the way, these were the only two cakes I could find. Can anyone else find any more? But, like, I don't think you should have to carry everything, like, on you, I guess you could say. Um, I'm saying this because I'm very much a hoarder. Like, really? I really am. If you guys ever see at my desk, it's a mess. Granted, they're figurines, and that's kind of like my excuse, but I really should, like, give them to people or something, because I like them. Like, I've got half of it being taken up by cats. And then there's a dragon. Uh, there's a dragon statue. And wolf statue. And then we have Minecraft stuff, which is three YouTubers, Stacey Plays, LD Shadow Lady, and Aphmau. And then we've got like a whole ton of Minecraft figurines. And then we've got my little Animal Jam section, which we've got like a little village. I've got a little village of Animal Jam houses mixed in with a few houses of uh, Neko Etsume figurines, which if you don't know what Neko Etsume is, um, it's a for your phone, and I think it's the most adorable thing ever. Look at it, look how cute it is. So, Neko Atsume, Kitty Collector, is a cat collecting game developed by High Point Co. L I for you, you know, uh, for iOS, iPhones, and Android, literally everything else. Released on October 20th, 2014. That's an old game, but it's super cute. It's actually adorable. It's got super cute, super great graphics, and I love it, so. <laughs> Mode single player video game. This is, like, not even a video game. What I used to do is, I like, what you're supposed to do is, uh, cats will, like, you're supposed to, like, set up food and toys, and then cats will come to your yard. Don't even ask. A, don't ask about how. This is supposed to make sense. But they come to your yard. And. Ooh, 
I like this. Anyway, so they come to your yard, and is it my turn? No, no, I'm confused. Anyway, so they come to your yard, and oh wow. And then you try and like, uh, if they come to your yard, it'll show up on your, like, uh, you have like this catalog, and it'll show up on your catalog, but um, if they, can I go please? How do I, is this, I'm so confused. I'm trying to. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that works. Oh, yes. Again. Maybe not. <laughs> the bulk of our little, like, castle things are in shambles. This is really pretty scenery, though. Anyway. Then, uh, if you open up the app while they're there, because they only come while the app is, like, running, but you don't have to actually open the app for them to come. So, uh, yay. If they, oh, jeez. If they come while you're, while you have the app open or you open the app while they're there, um, you can actually take pictures of the cats. And they're super adorable. I know it took me like four minutes to explain in the game, but, Basically, you take pictures of super adorable cats, and you lure them to your yard with stuff. Yeah. And they give you money, too. Like, when they leave, they give you money. It's fish, but it's money. Like, you get regular fish, and then you have golden fish, and golden fish buys, like, super exclusive, like, free stuff. Not exclusive stuff, but, like... Say, uh, I don't know if bean bags is one of the items on there, but say there's a bean bag and you want to get the bean bag and your color options are like green, yellow, and blue. Well, if you want a red bean bag, it might cost like two golden fish instead of, I don't know, like 90 regular fish. I don't know. So it's kind of expensive on the game. But you get a lot of fish because, yeah. I once uh, have, like, uh, there's this really cheap food. It's not the free food, but it's the cheapest one that I would use a lot because there's this really fat cat. His name is Tubbs. You probably heard Athlon talk about it a lot if you watched her. Uh, he comes and he eats that food. Well, he'll give you, like, 43 fish for it. Well, you can... the food only costs 30 fish, so basically he's giving you way more fish than he took, but it's great because you get more fish. Um, this character may be used for an upcoming role place thing, kind of thing, yeah. Um, I don't really know. <coughs> We'll have to see. Anyway, I met this guy earlier. Yeah, by met, I mean he randomly buddied while we were in Temple of Zeus and was like, okay, sure. And, or maybe, I don't know where we were. But we were somewhere. Apparently, my laptop doesn't want to load. Oh, here's Sunny Willow. Sunny Willow. I don't know if this is actually how you pronounce their name, but that's how I pronounce their name for a friend of mine from the buddy, which has been a while. Uh, also, update, does anybody know this guy? Because I haven't seen him in a while. 25 days ago. Oh, he was on 25 days ago? I should really get on more and go so high. Uh, if you guys didn't know, um, he, Zany Blue, is actually, well, I'm guessing this guy. I don't know, it very much could be a female. But, Zany Blue has been, uh, he was my first buddy ever. And surprisingly, we're still buddies. I don't know how, because he probably doesn't like me that much. This is why I assume that he's a guy. 
because uh, I'm kind of an annoying person, but... Ooh. Yeah. But anyway... Oh! Oh no. Well, this is gonna kill me. Oh! Nope! Didn't mean to click on that. Ooh, is this boxes? Oops. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end after this one little, like, me trying to play the claw machine on a video game. If you didn't know- <gasps> Yay! One! Ah. Well, you probably knew that. But I actually love the claw machine. It is probably my favorite game ever. Because I feel like I have, like, a lot more control over the game. Also, because you get, like, physical items. And it's great. Anyway, say goodbye. Why did I say say goodbye? See, this is how I know that I talk to people. And, like, are telling people to say goodbye to other people, like, way too often. Anyway, goodbye, everyone. I will say goodbye to you. Oh, that's not a B. If you can't read that, I promise you, it does say goodbye. Well, it said bye. Goodbye. This is an E. Hold on. Let me take this. Is there like an eraser button? I just want the eraser button. I'm going to get rid of this color. This kind of blends in. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. You can completely tell. That's the grass there. Okay. No, I need to get red. Again. And write a proper E. Goodbye! Uh, I want I would draw like a hand for that. I'm like waving. Yep, it's it's waving. Waving, waving. Obviously. Anyway, goodbye everyone, as you can see on screen.